Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. Today is Tottenham versus Newcastle in the Premier League. Let's have a look at the side that we'll be putting out today. So a couple of changes, uh, and mainly it's uh, for no other reason than I wanted to keep the legs fresh. Up front you'll see that Frank Ribery is on the left side of the front three. Werner and St Maximan keeping their places. At the back, Wanfran comes in for Henriks. Just again, to keep the legs fresh, I will be bringing Balo Torre on fairly early on into the second half, just to give him some game time and to allow the other players to get used to him. I was very, very impressed with Xavi last game. He doesn't make the starting lineup, but I feel that's because we need a little bit more fight in midfield. So we're going to start with Shelby, and then Xavi is always there as an option. But after that last game, I do feel like Xavi has now improved uh, his status within the squad to regular bench warmer, if not troubling for the start. Uh, Shelby is only rated at 71. He plays better than that for me. You know, he's just one of those players that I like. He does a job. He does it well. But I think that it's going to not be very long until we find Xavi taking the place of Shelby long term. Uh, alongside Shelby is Miguel Almiron. Again, just to keep legs fresh. And Kunku starting to lose a bit of stamina. And we've got some... In Important games coming up. Not that this game isn't important, of course, but uh, you know it's a squad game these these days, and uh, you have to use what's available to you. So here we go at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium or New Art Lane. I can't remember what they call it now. Do they just call it the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? I, I think that's what they call it. Um, I don't know. I'm an Arsenal fan. I really don't care. I'm, I'm just jealous that they have such a nice stadium. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to skip all of the pre-match malarkey and get straight into the game. Here we go. Tottenham in white, shooting left to right in the first half. Newcastle in their lovely tangerine kit. Looking very much like Blackpool. And there you go. Shelby immediately showing why he still gets the nod in this starting lineup, he chases back and he wins that ball superbly he just gives something to this side that I don't want to be without at the moment ball played through to Willems, he's going to get this cross in it's well intercepted, out for a corner R ok, right, what the hell I purposely went into my game plan before this game and I changed the corner kick taker on both sides and it's defaulted back to Hummels I'm very very annoyed about that corner comes in, it's played out to the corner And Tottenham escape. Shelby doing a very good job of rescuing the ball. Unfortunately, possession lost. And now Tottenham on the right-hand side looking to press the advantage. Newcastle win a throw. I was hoping that Ribery would continue his run, but unfortunately he didn't want to. That's fair enough. He's not played an awful lot in this team. His familiarity with the rest of the players isn't as high as you would perhaps like it to be. Oh, again, John Joe Shelby winning that ball, and he plays it down the side. Alan St. Maximan on the run. Can't get it past. But he does a very good job in getting in the way of that ball. Newcastle can't make anything of it. Tottenham managed to get away with it. On the right-hand side here now, Otavio. Not familiar with him as a player. 
played back to Hanverker. Sorry, yeah, there he is. Deli Alley in through the middle. Hummels, oh my word, it's a bit of a mix up in defence. The goalkeeper, very much aware of what's going on around him and manages to come out quick enough to stifle any issue. Newcastle just playing it from one side to the other, looking for their opportunity, and that's a poor pass by Ayer. Willems left hung dry. And now Tottenham in possession, just playing it around. Dictating the tempo, figuring out what's to come next. Oh, come on. I thought that was well won there by Almiron, but the referee disagrees. Gives a free kick and a talking to, to Almiron himself. That might have been offside, but apparently not. It crashes off the crossbar. Newcastle escape. Ribery harassing the fullback trying to win the ball back it's good to see it's got the work rate but Tottenham easily able to move it out to the other side of the pitch Alisson Maximan doing his best to try and win the ball as well eventually the ball is won oh that's nice oh, he's just jostled by a Tottenham defender, breaks Werner's stride and unfortunately puts paid to that attacking move. The momentum completely broken. Real shame because that did look like it was going to be a very interesting move. Both teams pretty much nullifying each other here. There's been one or two half chances, but nothing that you would say was uh, bolted on. Oof, dear, oh dear. So at half-time, it's nil-nil in this Premier League encounter between Tottenham and Newcastle. Tottenham, the only team to get a, uh, a chance on goal but neither team managing to get one on target so we begin the second half Newcastle kick off Mistake by the Tottenham defender. Reaper is through. Plays it into Werner. Can't get the shot away. Werner's free if they can find him. 
Ribéry off the post. Oh, my word. And the header goes harmlessly back to the goalkeeper. All of that for nothing. Oh, but Frank Ribéry, a moment there where I thought he was going to do it all by himself. And maybe we saw there what needed to... Oh, dear. There's a chance for Tottenham if they can find the pass. They do find a pass. Somehow it escapes Harry Kane. It is Maximan. He's all by himself, though. There's no one around him. He's going to have to do something spectacular. Uh, no, nothing happening from there. It's unfortunate. Whenever Maximan gets into space, he's either forced too far wide or he hasn't got anyone around him. Werner. He can't get the shots away, unfortunately. It's a shame Werner's game today has been a case of ifs and buts rather than certainties. If he'd got this touch, if he'd had the time, if he hadn't been jostled, etc, etc. Almiron, good hustle. He's out wide on this left-hand side. If he can find a cross, this might make it interesting. That's surely a foul there. Good cross. And Werner can't quite get to it. Ballo Torre coming on a little bit. Oh, dear. I've made a bit of a rick there. There we go. Ballo Torre coming on a little bit later than expected. But coming on nonetheless. And I think Xavi is definitely going to have to come on and... Shelby's going to make way. And as good as Timo Werner's been, I think we need something a bit different in the final third. thought he was onside genuinely thought he was onside there and that is the tightest of calls he's a kneecap offside a kneecap ah oh, it's frustrating but it is the right decision you can't complain about a decision being made correctly Maximan good cross Header! Oh my word! And it's given offside. I suspected he might be. But when the flag wasn't immediately raised, I thought just maybe, maybe he was onside. And what a save by the goalkeeper. He wasn't to know whether he was onside or not. And he's pulled out an absolute worldie there, as much as it hurts me to say. 83 minutes on the clock. Seven minutes to go to earn an extra two points. Oh, it's a chance. It's a goal for Maximan. 
in the 89th minute. He's making a habit of this. Scoring late. And it was Newcastle's inability to give up that really created that goal. All but one outfield player in the Tottenham half. Maximan saw an opportunity, controlled it on his left foot and took it past on the inside of the centre-back. You watch it here, he just takes it on his left, sees the opportunity and just places it past the goalkeeper. A brilliant finish from the Frenchman. And amazingly, for the second time in as many matches, Alan St. Maximan has scored in the 90th minute to secure all three points for Newcastle United. What a game that was. So there are the all-important stats at the end of the game. Apart from that one chance that crashed off the crossbar, Tottenham not, <laughs> not troubling the Newcastle defence at all. In contrast, in the second half, Newcastle came alive. Seven shots, six on target. Absolutely phenomenal by the Newcastle team. Good ratings all round, obviously. St Maximan, the player of the game, Joel Linton earning himself a seven. Somewhat fitting that the comeback kid should be the song playing on the tannoy. Here's the rest of the results from today's match day. Match day 22, of course. Liverpool with an emphatic win over Wolverhampton Wanderers. And Manchester City dropping another two points, this time against Everton. Which means that Liverpool have gone top of the table but it is a three-way tie on points. Liverpool, Newcastle United, Manchester City, all three teams on 48 points. Liverpool are top of the pile as a result of better goal difference. This is a very tight title race. So that is going to do it for yet another episode. Next time around, we will probably be making a decision on Mats Hummels. Let me know again in the comments what you guys reckon. Do we hang on to him? Do we do what we originally planned and keep hold of him until retirement? Or is £24 million too good an offer not to take? I can't promise I'm going to go with what you guys say. My heart is definitely saying I should keep hold of him. But let me know what you reckon. Um, we definitely need to start blooding these younger centre-backs at some point. And it makes more sense for Hummels to step aside for those players. But that's what cup games are for. That's what dead rubbers in European Championships are for. I don't know. Let's see. But thanks very much for watching. I will read your comments with great interest over the weekend. And I'll see you back here on Monday for another episode of the revival.